Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ryan. And in today's video, we're gonna install some flagstone over um, this step that we have here. But if you're new here, consider subscribing. Hold on, click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell as well. So when I upload a new video, you get notified. Thank you. Let's jump right into the video. So today we're gonna do this step as you see up there that they use um, timber up there So this is what we got to do today. We just got to put the flagstone on to the steps basically guys So let's jump right into the video and get this step done Okay, so what we did here guys, first we add some water, then we add some water mix. Now I'm going to put some bonding glue, hold the water together. So we're going to mix, mix it to the um, peanut butter and consistency. Adding on water and water until we reach the consistency we need. So guys, we're, we're, we're measuring this concern. This step is all over the place with, um, with measurement. So we're just gonna try and doctor it to try and get it as um, as best as we can. To see as we go along. See what I mean by as we go along. So here we have our stone. We have one side that's cut. As you see, this is the side that's cut. We wanna turn the cut side down. And here is the factory part that come from the manufacturer. We wanna turn this part up into here. So first we wanna check to see if our stone fits. The cut is fit. Wet you want to wet your stone. You want to put a bit of water on the back of your stone like so. And wet the surface as well. What I did, I, I put a bit of banding glue inside of the water and use it to wet the surface. It helps to bond the water more to the wall, to the surface. Back me. Just gonna bring this one up. And as you see, I put it in the center. That way, I can put my next stone that's gonna go that way right onto it. So it's, it's the same level. Go across. We had a mark, come on. Get the center. Right step. I changed the way here because before I have two three feet across and I was gonna put a small piece in the corner. But now I decided um, I'm gonna change it and put three pieces here. Reason for that because I'm gonna put two pieces of stone here and I don't want all my joints to run straight in one line. So now I'm gonna stagger it. So I'm gonna put one joint here, one here, and one over that side. So 
So what I did, I catch the center and I put, I'm gonna put a stone right here and then I'm gonna cut for the two end piece. Afterward, all my joints gonna line up all the way down. I next big green one, right? So guys, as you see, here, over here, this one, I, I flush this one right onto here and then this one I'm going to push it under and flush my stone here because the step is all over the place and I'm trying to get the same overhang right along going right down. Want to wet our surface as we go guys. Make sure you catch your level. You have like a 1% slope. So it's just a barely slope. Most of the water gonna pitch this way. You wanna catch your slope. So here I, I put two inches on both sides. So I have a, I'm gonna work with a one inch hang over. Just as though the deck up there the same hang over as the deck come all the way down.
So I'll just see you guys up there, I have no other try. Time to put a small piece. I just put a small piece over there because like I mentioned earlier, the step is on all different different measurements. So I'm just here now trying to get it as best as I can. We have a one inch hangover right now. So I still got two more threads to go. Hey guys, if you're if you get in value from this video, go ahead and hit that like button and share it with your friends. You know, maybe someone can learn from it and you never know. So That's it. Oh man, never settle for this. I never even know I have to do all these cutting, but you know, you want your job to look nice. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? One of those days. Guys, you want to wet your joint before you do the joint. Okay guys, so this is the growth in bag, as you see. What you want to do, you want to wring it and squeeze it. So the more pressure it gets, the more the force will go up to the head and, and the marker will come out. So basically, you want to wring it just like this. Put the point down and squeeze. Remember to wet your joint. I already wet mine. That's enough. Yeah. You guys, you want to take your time. Do it slowly. Try and prevent the mess. No mess. I have a clean looking joint after we finish. Clean looking stuff. So this is a Dyna Fuller 2000. This is the model that I'm using for my for my growing. Don't forget to add a bit of banding glue to it as well. Guys, you want to work for it to last as long as it, the, the possibility of it may, may be. So just do as best as you can. You won't have to come back here another hundred years to, re, to redo it. That time I'm probably going to be old and gray. <laughs> I know I've tried to go here at 100 years old. Just do it in the form of work and this thing. So let's do it once. Good, eh? You know, and I'll have to come back here again to redo it. Are you with me, guys? Here, because we have the overhang, you just want to put your finger like this, squeeze it on your finger, use the finger as, as a ledge to hold the motor. So guys, first thing we want to do, we want to test. We want to test our joint. The way to do that is to press on it. And look on your finger or your glove. And once it's not wet, you know it's ready to go. So this way again, you could even test it like this. When a joint are like so. This one is, is, it could be dry a little bit, but it's good. It's, it's doable. Um, okay, good. Then, so, thank you. So 
here guys as you see I have a scraper here this scraper here helps to remove here's any marks on the head like this we use one of them to remove the mortar this way we don't have no mortar on the head it looks clean and nice so invest in one of this scraper here guys if you don't have one you could use a switch blade from um, a knife on mine right now but uh this is really good for this work. Here you have it guys, hope this video helped you guys with your next project of um, step, platform, flagstone. If you get value from the video, go ahead and share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. It, it really helps YouTube to promote it and help um, other people to learn from it as well. And if you don't subscribe yet, consider subscribe. Might as well go right now and subscribe because I have lots more incredible video coming up where for sure you will learn something from. I do all different types of construction work as you see if you check my other video out. So um, until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Be safe.